My guest at this time can be seen every week on Ring of Honor television. It is world famous CB. CB, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me here today. Thank you for having me, Nick. Yeah, dude, you are one of my favorite wrestlers to watch. Uh, you are, I think it was uh, Mike Bennett I had on the other week. We were talking about you, and I was like, man, it's fun to watch CB tie people up like pretzels. <laughs> You're very, very good at that these days, CB. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to get to finally show my wrestling skills off. Uh, I get to show my uh, my pure wrestling style. Yeah, for sure. So, like, obviously, you've been wrestling a bunch in the pure wrestling division as of late. Do you see yourself definitively as a pure wrestler at the moment, not in Ring of Honor? Yes, I do. Uh, I I see myself as a wrestler that can wrestle anybody, but primarily uh, a pure wrestler and someone that can go toe to toe, toe to toe, grappling with uh, anyone in the roster. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, well, before we get into more pure wrestling stuff, obviously, I wanted to. Yeah, you're world famous, CB. Now, why? Why the name? I'm kind of interested. Why the switch here? Everybody knew you as Cheeseburger for years. What? Why the name change? Uh, at the time, uh, during the pandemic, uh, being off for so long, I had a lot of time to think about myself, my career, like what direction I wanted to go, and I kind of felt Cheeseburger had started to become stagnant, or if it didn't become stagnant, it was very close to becoming stagnant and becoming a uh, kind of like old news. So I wanted to kind of jump uh, ahead of the curve, and I wanted to come back to Ring of Honor uh, and wrestling in general completely different. I didn't want to just be... And, you know, we were off like, you know, nine, 10 months uh, for the pandemic of just no wrestling. And right. I didn't want to come back just doing the same stuff I'd been doing before and just being cheeseburger. And so I went and I wanted to develop a new character where I could be more of a serious wrestler. I could have uh, kind of have more of a definitive direction because with cheeseburger, I never really knew like what the character was supposed to be or like what yeah. like they kind of like wanted out of it. It was just kind of like a guy named cheeseburger. Uh, but as world famous CB, I have a lot more of a clear direction. Uh, it's a character that I created that wasn't given to me and something where I could show off my wrestling skill. Uh, the way I always describe it is that um, Cheeseburger was kind of like a character that was kind of also a wrestler. But world famous CB is a wrestler that's also a character. I got you, man. And like, you know, you look like you're having fun. Like, that's the thing I've noticed about you over the past year or so is it just looks like you're loosening up a little bit more right now. Are you just trying to have more fun when you go out there at the moment and push yourself a little bit more in those directions? Oh, 100%. Uh, I think uh, having that clearly defined, like, role and, like, kind of character has been, like, a tremendous help in terms of having fun. And also, like, I'm getting to do a style of wrestling I love. As Cheeseburger, I never really got to show my technical wrestling ability, which is always kind of, I felt, my strong suit in the ring. Yeah. Uh, I never really got to show that off at all. It's always just kind of like, all right, you're the guy that gets beat up like 90% of the match and then kind of does a few moves and then still loses. But as World Famous TV, I'm getting to show off my technical wrestling ability. I'm getting to like tie people up the knots and getting the tactical out. Uh, yeah. I'm getting to like, you know, win matches, which is cool. It's all everyone loves to win. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Well, I was really fortunate. I got to call you versus Mike Bennett here at Warrior Wrestling uh, Ooh, last yeah. time it was. How was that? Uh, and you guys tangled at the uh, in the ROH uh, uh, Battle Royal, or not Battle, the Gauntlet match uh, mm -hmm. to determine the the pure wrestling number one contender. How has it been getting to work with Mike? Like getting in share space like that? Oh, he's awesome, man. I love Mike. Uh, he he was my second match back from the or my second singles match back from the pandemic, uh, oh. third match overall. So uh, and that was like uh it was su super cool because the last time when we wrestled at the uh, we wrestled at uh, warrior wrestling the last time we had wrestled uh i was probably about like yeah that's probably like seven eight years ago i was probably about like you know like 19 20 or something like that uh yeah. the last time we had we had worked in ring of honor and i hadn't seen him in like years and, and just from him being an impact wv and everything like our past never like crossed again um yeah. and that was kind of one one of his first matches back on the Indies, and that was like my second match back after the pandemic. So we both went into that Warrior match, kind of just like, all right, we're out to like prove something. We want to really like make this like good and like like prove something to like to people and prove that we are like good at this. And that was one of my favorite matches I ever had that, that singles match with Mike. And then um, we had another singles match with the uh, which was a the Pure Rules match and the Pure Gauntlet, which is available on YouTube. Uh, but that one only, only wrestled for about like five minutes or so. And it was a really fun match, but uh, I really love that that Warrior Wrestling one. I think we went like close to like 12, maybe like almost 15 or something. We had a lot of time with that. It was really fun. I, 
when I when I talked to Mike, uh, I hate to keep going back to him, but you came up in our conversation, and he was just like, man, because he said the same thing. He hadn't seen you or wrestled you in like seven years, and he just said locking up with you felt different. Like he just knew he was wrestling a different person than the last time that he saw you or worked with you. You know? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was cool to hear. He said that to me as well. I was like, oh man, and like too, I felt. You know, obviously, you know, I've done so much since I had last seen him. Uh, my confidence was at like an all time high. And I was really uh, I was really excited to just go out there and, and prove to people that, hey, like, you know, we, we both know what we're doing. And Mike's absolutely tremendous. I'm glad I feel like now people are starting to give him his proper respect as a wrestler, whereas before they didn't. But he's like he's one of the best out there in every match he's out there to to prove it. How has it been having a guy like him in the, the Ring of Honor locker room? Some veteran experience coming in and just sharing what he's what he's learned the past few years with, with you and everybody else at Ring of Honor. Oh, it's been great. He's uh, he's one of the guys I go to for advice. Um, and it's it's cool because, like, especially at the tapings, like, he's always, like, uh, at Gorilla, like, watching matches. And um, having uh, him and Maria as well, like, both both of them, like, have such a fantastic perspective. Like, uh, like they're two of the people whose brains I like to pick and just get their opinions on things uh, that they see. Uh, and it's just been, you know, they create a great vibe in the locker room as well. So it's been awesome having them back. Yeah. Well, uh, real quickly, since you brought up Maria, what do you think of the work she's doing, uh, launching the uh, ring of honor women's division, the, the end of women of honor. We have a real women's division now in, in ROH. Oh, this is fantastic. Uh, I think the, the women's division is going to be the best it's ever been. And, uh, the, the stuff that's coming up for the tournament is going to be really cool. Like, I think people are going to really, really see some, some great matches and, get to see a lot of these uh women's like personality shine through uh so I, i'm excited for the tournament to start airing uh and i think it's gonna be i think it's gonna be a huge hit yeah any any particular women you're keeping an eye on or you think fans should keep an eye on as somebody that could really stand out here in this tournament in your opinion uh off the top of my head uh, i'm a big fan of trisha dora uh she was someone i thought like should be in the woman, uh, woman of honor division. I'm glad to see she's here in, in the tournament. Uh, Willow Nightingale as well. Like Willow's awesome. Like she's been, she's been ready to be on TV for a long time. And I'm glad, uh, I'm glad Willow's getting the opportunity right now. How has it been? So back kind of to the pure wrestling division, right? And it is so cool right now to see ring of honor flushing out these various divisions, especially as it looks like you guys are going to finally get to be, you know, putting your product back in, in front of fans here, hopefully more regularly than just this one show that we had at Best in the World. Uh, how has it been working with Gresham, man? Like, I would imagine, because you're saying you're finally getting to do the style you really love the most, and this is the guy literally waving a flag. He comes out with a flag, waving the flag <laughs> of the pure wrestling, right? How has it been working with him? I would imagine it's got to be a really good relationship, or it's been nice to, to have him in that spot pushing this. No, absolutely. It's been it's been great having someone like Gresham pure, push uh, pure wrestling, and you know he's an awesome help in the locker room to uh, pick his brain and get advice from because that dude knows like you know every single hold inside and out, and uh, you know he he's been uh, fantastic help to me, and uh, I really like that we have a a good relationship relationship to where I can talk to him and uh, get advice and everything from him. Uh, and he's just been on fire in Ring of Honor. Just every match he has is must must watch. Uh, so yeah, I mean Gresham has been awesome. Like I'm glad he's waving the flag of pure wrestling and bringing that back. And it gives a place for people like myself who are a fan of that style to kind of fit in the the confines of the roster. Um. So like you obviously like the pure wrestling division, like a very serious division, right? It's got this tone to it that that's very real and raw, which is awesome. So, like, how do you wind up in GCW in a backyard with Nasty <laughs> Leroy? CP is, is, and, like, how does how does Ring of Honor feel about you winding up in a backyard with Nasty Leroy for GCW? Uh, no one from, like, management, like, said anything about it. Uh, I, well, actually, one of my bosses did watch it, but just because he's interested in watching the match because he thought it was, like, going to be hilarious. Um, but uh, a lot of people actually, like, backstage, like, uh, either watch the match or saw clips for their they like they thought it was entertaining. Um, so like it, it's just like a, a long standing internet feud with myself and Nasty Leroy, and you know he likes to talk a lot of trash, and uh, you know I like to talk a lot of trash back. And GCW was like, all right, you guys can sell this at, at GCW Backyard, and they booked it, and it was a a very fun experience. Like I I loved it so much. Like uh, I'm a big fan of GCW, uh, and I'm glad to. Get to wrestle there because backyard, backyard especially is like one of the most unique wrestling shows 
of all, like ever. Like it's just a, a hugely unique wrestling concept, and it's one of their most like popular shows. So I'm glad me and uh, Nasty Lee were cut to wrestle on that uh, on that card, and I got to be the bad guy, which is very very uncommon. Uh, right as I came out, like the GCW crowd didn't necessarily give me a warm reception, and uh, uh, it, it was pretty cool, kind of getting to hear those boos and everything. So I wanna, I kind of like being the bad guy. I never get to do that in Ring of Honor. That's right, dude. But that's the thing is, like earlier, I kind of teased her. I was like, dude, you just look like you're having fun. And like when I watch you and Nasty Lou, I'm like, that is a man that is having a ton of fun right now. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And does it feel like? Does it feel like kind of the light bulbs have gone off over your head a little bit, and in, in terms of just like you know, where you see yourself in the landscape and what you can be doing as opposed to kind of, you know, like you said before, you and are just out there named cheeseburger kind of deal. Yeah. No. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think uh, right now I feel the most confident in my ability I ever have. Uh, and I am able to clearly define my role and what, whatever I'm doing. Like uh, I think that's important to make things the best that they can be. You have to know like, all right, what you're doing, like how your character will react in the situation, like um, how good your abilities are to make this situation the best possible, and then kind of work from there. And I, I think uh, right now I feel very confident that I can do that in any company with anybody. So uh, you're, you've are you worked at GCW. Gresham uh, is making some GCW appearances now as well. Um, yeah. What do you... Would you like to see like more of a relationship between ROH and GCW, or do you kind of like it where they both kind of get to have their own space? Like, what what would you like to see from that relationship? No, I think uh, I think yeah, I think that would be awesome for both of us. Like, the more I think the more companies are willing to work together, the more wrestling as a whole will be. And you know, GCW is like a very hot product right now, and they have something like people want to see, and they have like you know, they're like the only touring like indie company like that's out there right now. Like they're rusty, you know, they're doing shows in Atlantic city, like Chicago, like Texas, like LA, like, uh, like Vegas. Uh, even they went to Wyoming and had a great show there. Uh, and yep. like they're, they're selling out like all these places and they have that connection to the people and they have something that is a hot product and they know how to market it. And I think like, I think ring of honor, like with us, like we can learn, like, all right, what are they doing? That's like really cool. Cause this is unheard of for like an indie of uh, like to just be going to all these places, like selling out, like this is like, this is an, an absolutely insane. So I think, you know, Ring of Honor can like learn something from them and GCW can learn something from, uh, from us in terms of like say production and like improving like their product and everything. And then just like, we have, we both have so many like fantastic wrestlers, like the matches like would be absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it'd be. I mean, would I mean obviously like a Nick Gage in Ring of Honor would be really interesting. He is hyper violent. <laughs> that's not. I mean, that's kind of the antithesis of what you and Gresham are going for in ROH at the moment. Uh, I, yeah, I, 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 Nick Gage, seeing him on the TV and AEW is really really cool. Um, I, I don't know, like if that's gonna be his like permanent home, but if not, I would love to see him in Ring of Honor. Uh, I like I brought him up to, like for Ring of Honor, like a while back, like, there was some show we were doing, like, oh, it was, like, the, uh, the Colt Cabana, like, unauthorized show. I was, like, man, we should get, like, Nick Gage, and, like, on this, and, like, some capacity. I never, really, like, pitching that to, like, people, uh, and, but it didn't end up happening, but I, I would love to see Nick in Ring of Honor. Uh, I wrestled, I wrestled Nick, uh, he's, like, one of my last matches before COVID hit in, like, February in, like, Texas, and it was on a show that was not filmed at all, but this card was absolutely stacked, and I have, like, the only footage that exists of it like on my youtube channel and like i had a fun time wrestling nick so he's he's one of the matches i won again wow did you get the pizza cutter in the in the cheek or no no nah, he didn't bring the pizza cutter unfortunately uh, unfortunately wow that, <laughs> yeah, like, that's not no how... pizza no pizza cutter you mentioned how get, he did pop up at AEW the other day i mean it's obvious there's a lot of companies that are playing together over there at the moment um do you want to see Ring of Honor doing that more or in that mix? Or would you do you kind of like that Ring of Honor, you know, not to, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, make a bad pun or anything. But do you like Ring of Honor having its own kind of bubble at the moment <laughs> where there, you guys are getting to do your own thing? No, I, I would love to see us work with more companies again. Uh, you know, like, I, I guess it's been like very tough with the pandemic as well. So, like, I, I understand, like, kind of just wanting to keep things like in-house for right now. But definitely when things open up, I would like to see us, you know, get back to working with whether it's like New Japan, CMLO, or even like, you know, working with AEW or Impact in some capacity, you know, uh, I, th I just think the more 
people in wrestling can work together, just the better it is for everybody. Um, the the better relationships are company to company, even if it's not like a full worker relationship, but just being uh, cordial with each other is just better for everybody. It creates more opportunities and more uh, eyes on each product. Uh, you know, I, I our New Japan relationship was very successful and it was an awesome awesome uh, awesome thing to have you know that allowed me to go to japan and everything and allowed me to wrestle uh, with my idols and wrestle some cool people and meet some cool people so like you know it's just it was an awesome time when we had that that full-on relationship so i would love to see us uh, work back with some other companies again do you it, it, do you know what the current relationship between roh and new japan is at the moment i've been wondering that kind of myself as far as i'm aware like we still have a, a very solid relationship you know like some of our guys are still going to New Japan strong, and we've had uh, like people like Rocky come in for uh, for tapings, and uh, I think David Finley was in the uh, the first Pure tournament as well. So, uh, okay. as far as I'm aware, the relationship is still is still ongoing. Yeah, man, because like I'm in Chicago here, and every time Global Wars came to town, those were usually some of my favorite shows of the year. Just like had a real fun energy about them, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, you talk about uh, people working together. You mentioned how you pitched Nick Gage uh, for that unauthorized show. There was a report it broke either like last night or this morning. That at some point, Ring of Honor did reach out to CM Punk like last year about coming back to the company. Did you hear about that? Did you know that there had been some communication between both sides or no? Uh, I heard like a rumor like sometime around that time. But again, you hear rumors about CM Punk like, you know, every other week. So I just, yeah. like, didn't pay it any mind. Uh, I don't know, like hearing it now, I don't know like how far the talks got, I, I, how far the talks got. I don't know. My guess is they probably didn't get very far, but yeah, I did. I do remember hearing that, uh, hearing that rumor. Man, yeah, I mean, him and Daniel Bryan being out on the market right now. I mean, those were ROH, you know, OGs. It'd be very interesting, especially in that pure wrestling space that you guys have going right now. I'd, I'd be interested. That's for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what do you have? Go like I. Uh, so what do you got going this weekend? Like you have a match rolling out. They just told me you have a match that's going out this weekend. They didn't tell me what it was. What's happening here uh, this weekend with ROH TV and you? Uh, uh, I'll be on ROH TV this week and also like everywhere uh, Monday night at 7 p.m. Uh, I'm wrestling a uh, flip gourd and in, uh, in a, a traditional singles match, not a, a pure rules match. Cool. How was that? Flip's a very interesting kind of athlete. Oh, yeah. I uh, I, I haven't wrestled flip in a long time, but um, I, I, I like the match a lot when we had it, and I think people are going to really dig it. So I highly encourage everyone to check it out. We have a, a bunch of great stuff in that episode as well. Yeah. Was this filmed... Uh uh at the best in uh the world tapings or was it uh not in front of fans it, it was uh the taping prior to that okay gotcha all right and so how has it just been in general like uh getting through this period cb because it does seem like you're going to be wrestling in front of fans here in the not too distant future it would sound yeah uh it's gonna it's been you know we got through it we you know obviously the pandemic is still not fully over but we we pushed through it we kept everyone safe uh you know, I, I, I applaud the Ring of Honor for taking the necessary precautions uh, and, and, you know, being close to the athletic commission and working with the commission to make this happen. You know, uh, like so many times, like I would say to other wrestlers, kind of like what the protocols Ring of Honor had in place. They'd be like, oh, like they're just they're doing too much. Like there's not all that need for that. And, you know, like we were, we were like as far as I'm aware, we're like we're like one of the only companies that didn't have an outbreak. Uh, like there were some rumors that uh, I think the only company that did not have an outbreak. Yet. There's, I, I mean, there's, yeah, you know, that's, yeah, there's some other company. I, you know, I'm sure they, uh, you know, they're taking precautions and things just kind of happen. But like, yeah, so many wrestlers from other companies, but all oh, Ring of Honor is like doing too much. Like they're just trying to like uh, do it for publicity and like shit. Like you know, they're like over there. They're standing there overdoing the protocols just for like to show like, hey, look how safe we're being. But we were being safe and we didn't have an outbreak. So, I mean, it kept their, hey, it worked. So, uh, I'm, I'm glad Ring of Honor uh, took those precautions and kept everyone safe. And uh, now, like, uh, as things are kind of starting to slowly open up, we're getting a little bit uh, more leeway with the bubble and everything. And it's been, it's been great. I actually enjoyed the bubble experience. Cause I, you know, when I'm home, I just like to kind of be alone anyway. So, like, it was cool just kind of like getting to be just, I was just like in the hotel and just had my like video games and like my like books and just kind of like chilling out uh, until it was time to wrestle. Hey, they are the introvert. This was the time of the introverts. Uh, as oh, someone yeah. who, it's someone who's like an introvert extrovert. Like I also was like, wow, this is great. <laughs> you know, I just get to stay yeah. at home all day and like, wow, this is my style, man. Uh, <laughs> all right. 
Hey, uh, CB, I want to thank you so much for taking the time, man. Uh, I've said it a couple times this interview, but you just look like somebody that's having a lot of fun right now. Mm-hmm. And when the viewers watch people that are having fun, I, I feel like it's a, it's a way easier for us to have fun as well. So really happy to see everything you're doing right now, man. Um, is there any place you want to send people to find you, follow you, support you, anything like that? Uh, yeah, if you're looking for, if you're, you know, listen to this and want to become a professional wrestler, uh, check out my school, the uh, Worldwide Wrestling Dojo. Uh, you cool. can find us at worldwidewrestlingdojo.com and follow us uh, on social media at Worldwide Dojo.